When embarking on a long journey, such as traveling between continents, we typically book a plane flight and anticipate spending several hours in the air. However, when it comes to venturing into space, the vast distances involved demand much faster travel to reach distant points of interest. Space explorers have long sought a way to exceed the speed of light, enabling quicker journeys into deep space. Despite various methods having been discovered, each comes with significant drawbacks. But now, scientists have uncovered a new approach. How does it operate? What prerequisites does it have? And when can we expect to travel using this method? Join us on Cosmic Discovery, your portal to the extraordinary, as we introduce a groundbreaking way to travel faster than light. Light itself is captivating and vital. Without it, watching this video would be impossible. Ready to explore the cosmos with us? Hit subscribe and never miss the latest updates on the cutting-edge advancements in space travel. Let's journey beyond the stars together. Thanks to the sun and artificial light sources like the ones humans have created, we can navigate without unexpectedly colliding with objects. Light, as you may know, travels astonishingly fast. The exact speed of light is a well-known constant, forming the basis for many other measurements. Through a vacuum, light travels precisely 299,792,458 meters or 983 million 571,056 feet per second. This means light covers about 186,282 miles in a single second. It's so rapid that when you switch on a light bulb in a dark room, the light instantly fills the space and you won't perceive it moving. Another unit of measurement related to light is the light year, representing the distance light travels in one year, approximately 6 trillion miles or 10 trillion kilometers. Astronomers and physicists use this measurement to describe immense distances across our universe. The vastness of the universe means that light takes years to travel from one point to another. For example, light from the moon reaches our eyes in about one second, making the moon approximately one light second away. Sunlight, on the other hand, takes about eight minutes to reach us, putting the sun at a distance of eight light minutes away. Moving beyond our solar system, light from Alpha Centauri, the nearest star system requires around 4.3 years to reach us, making Alpha Centauri 4.3 light years away. Stars and objects beyond our solar system span distances ranging from a few light years to several billion light years. This is why everything astronomers observe in the distant universe is essentially historical. When studying objects far away, they are observing light that reveals the objects as they existed at the time the light departed from them. Despite the fascinating aspects of light, scientists have been striving to unlock the secret to traveling at the speed of light. This quest holds promise for humanity to become an interplanetary species. Elon Musk, the billionaire CEO of SpaceX, envisions establishing a settlement on Mars. However, the current journey for explorers involves enduring at least five months in space before reaching the Red Planet. Depending on the proximity of the two planets, this journey could even extend to almost a year with all the associated hazards before touching down on Mars. Yet, with the incredible speed of light travel, they can complete a lengthy journey in under four minutes. Many attempts have been made by researchers to achieve such high-speed travel. However, until the recent groundbreaking discovery announced by scientists, which we'll delve into in this video, a persistent problem remained unsolved. Even reaching 1% of the speed of light posed a considerable challenge. This speed, although swift enough to transport you from Los Angeles to New York in just over a second, remained elusive. The crux of the issue can be encapsulated in a single word, energy. Any moving object possesses energy due to its motion, known as kinetic energy in physics. To accelerate, one must increase kinetic energy. The challenge lies in the substantial amount of energy required to boost speed. Making something go twice as fast necessitates four times the energy, and the trend continues exponentially. Consider a teenager weighing 110 pounds. Propelling them to 1% of the speed of light would demand a staggering 200 trillion joules. To put this in perspective, it's roughly the same amount of energy consumed by 2 million people in the US in a day. Take, for instance, the M-Drive, 
heralded as a technology capable of propelling us swiftly to the farthest reaches of the universe. The M-Drive, a patented invention, operates theoretically by trapping microwaves in a shaped chamber, generating thrust through their bouncing. The closed nature of the chamber gives the appearance of motion without any external fuel or thrust. Operating on Newton's second law, an electromagnetic EMP, wave traveling at the speed of light carries momentum transferred to a reflector, producing a minuscule force. This cumulative tiny force, if achieved in sufficient quantity, enables the M-Drive. However, this seemingly straightforward concept challenges our understanding of physics, raising questions about the initiation and continuation of the waves and the source of their momentum. The absence of observable energy input or output prompts inquiries into the spontaneous creation of momentum, causing many scientists to approach the M-Drive with skepticism. Tests conducted by physicists at Dresden University of Technology, debunking promising results touted by the NSA in China as false positives influenced by external forces, further questioned the M-Drive's credibility. On the contrary, the warp drive presents a more promising prospect, as indicated by Dr. Eric Lentz, a physicist with over a decade of practical experience. Dr. Miguel Alcubierre, a Mexican mathematician in 1994, initiated the exploration of warp drives, laying the foundation for official literature on the subject. Regrettably, the Alcubierre warp drive, while captivating, demands an astronomical amount of energy and involves the use of theoretical and elusive secret matter as a crucial component. This highly radioactive substance, not observed in nature and yet to be created, adds complexity to the feasibility of the warp drive. Despite a few suggested variations, including a 2010 update by former NASA engineer Dr. Harold G., challenges persist in realizing the warp drive beyond the realm of science fiction. Sonny White, in his update, managed to reduce the required energy to a more manageable level, although it still wasn't practical due to the continued need for exotic matter, albeit in significantly lesser quantities than the Alcubierre solution. Another team of researchers from Switzerland, known as Applied Physics APL, introduced their own concept, intriguingly requiring no exotic material to create its warp bubble. However, their model faced a limitation. It couldn't surpass the speed of light, the coveted goal in space travel. To elucidate the differences in his concept from previously proposed ones, Lance first points to the physical structure of the classical Alcubierre drive, upon which most other solutions are based to varying degrees. He emphasizes that while the Alcubierre solution offers an intuitive image of contracting space in front of the central region containing the ship and expanding it immediately behind, this visual is not the essential feature. According to Lance, physicist Joseph Notaro's 2002 proposal demonstrated that the expansion and contraction weren't necessary for propelling the ship forward. Inspired by this, Lance reimagined warp creation using only traditional matter, excluding exotic matter. He showed that expansion could be trivial or zero everywhere and still achieve the task of transporting a ship. This breakthrough eliminates the need for exotic matter that typically warp space in front and behind theoretical passengers in most warp drive solutions. Building on Natalia's theory, Lance developed his own variation rooted in conventional physics, making it potentially more viable than previous warp solutions. Apart from this crucial material difference, Lens highlighted geometric distinctions. Unlike Alcubierre and many others in Lens's proposal, energy density and curvatures are closely correlated with high expansion and contraction regions, overlapping almost exactly. While acknowledging his warp drive's theoretical nature, Lance envisions immediate steps to bring it closer to reality, including reducing the required energy. His next goal is to create a warp bubble capable of moving at 1% the speed of light using a modern-day fission reactor. While considering the possibility of patenting his warp drive, Lance emphasizes that his work is part of a rapidly growing field, expressing hope that real, testable versions may be closer than anticipated. He finds excitement in the recent progress within the warp drive field and anticipates further advancements in the coming years. 
The script concludes by inviting viewers to share their thoughts on speed of light travel in the comments section below.